Released on April 30th, 2004, Mean Girls quickly emerged as a cultural touchstone for a generation grappling with the complexities of growing up. Written by Tina Fey and directed by Mark Waters, the movie is a sharp commentary on the dynamics of high school, specifically within female cliques. Its influence extends much farther than the screen though, affecting fashion, language, social behavior, and the broader discourse around female relationships. It even grew popular enough to have the Gen Z-ified musical movie version of it remade for the 20th anniversary. And today is October 3rd, the unofficial designated Mean Girls Day. And what better way to honor Mean Girls 20th anniversary than by doing a full video deep diving into the movie and how it changed a whole generation. Stay tuned to get a throwback into what life was like in the 2000s and how Mean Girls impacted almost every part of it. One of the most significant contributions of Mean Girls was the amount of catchphrases and language that permeated everyday conversations and absolutely took over pop culture. The film's language showcased how it wasn't afraid to show the real or dark side of high school, which resonated with audiences so much that it actually influenced how they started speaking. They were all added to a lexicon that defined teenage humor in the mid-2000s. Phrases like, on Wednesdays we wear pink, that's so fetch, and you can't sit with us, we're everywhere you went. You can walk around the lunchroom without hearing somebody shout out one of these. They encapsulated the essence of the pressures to fit in in a social situation, which made them relevant things to say at countless social interactions. The film's dialogue is also notable for expressing humor and sarcasm, which was then emphasized when teens and young adults started talking in a similar manner. They put more emphasis on humor and irony while keeping sort of a witty banter between them, it allowed these individuals to navigate their lives in a more freeing, lighthearted way. And because of this, these quotes permeated all types of memes and merchandise, cementing the film into our tiny brains forever and ever. And while kids might have been the ones actually being influenced by this, teachers were quick to notice the film's relevance, which in turn caused the film to be the subject of many anti-bullying campaigns. Needless to say, the dialogue of Mean Girls will forever be iconic and continue to impact future generations. As Mean Girls continued to gain popularity and keep its social relevance, it started to gain a second life on the still somewhat new social media platforms. Clips were frequently shared and repurposed on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and eventually TikTok. These clips would frequently share the film's themes of bullying, body image issues, and friendship dynamics. Some memes went a little far that they transcended their original context, but the fact that they were still using Mean Girls imagery just goes to show how prevalent it truly was. And while the Mean Girls memes might have been being made by the people who originally watched the film, they were being largely taken in by the still young Gen Z, leaving images and scenes in our heads making us recognize the characters, scenes, and some quotes before we'd even actually watch the film. And social media wasn't the only new thing that would spread this movie around, because it would be in this same era that online streaming services would start to gain massive popularity. This would lead generations old and new discovering or rediscovering the movie, which would then make it a certified household name. Another huge part of Mean Girls was its impact on fashion and just general aesthetics. The most notable being the film's portrayal of the plastics led by Regina George. This group became the inspiration for almost every 2000s fit. It showcased a specific aesthetic niche full of bright pinks and soft textures characterized by a blend of femininity and assertiveness. The plastics emphasized coordinated looks and the importance of appearance within social status. The characters could often be seen wearing form-fitting tops, mini skirts, and designer accessories, creating this image of polished perfection, something that many young fans would then aspire to emulate which was made even easier with the unique mix of casual and formal elements the girls would often be seen wearing. The juxtaposition of something like a simple tank top with stylish heels became a hallmark of 2000s fashion, encouraging a sophisticated yet more approachable style. And retailers were quick to capitalize on this, with clothing and accessory companies shilling out full lines of bright pink items that were clearly inspired by the film. Some even had official collabs. With the emphasis on appearance and the idea that fashion is power growing among teens, many young people see it as not just a way to express themselves anymore, but a way to navigate social hierarchies. 
And with the resurgence of Y2K fashioning happening in the late 2010s and even still a little bit today, it's easy to see how the film still fits onto a lot of people's image boards. Beyond its comedic value, Mean Girls sparked the much needed conversation surrounding female friendships and the pressures that shape them. As showcased by the plastics, we see the group start off with a close-knit, sister-like camaraderie. It shows the excitement of being in a group with the inside jokes, being able to plan coordinated outfits, and having other people there to support your social ambitions. But as the film goes on, we start to see the darker side of it. The jealousy, the manipulation, the jealousy, betrayal, which all ultimately tear the friend group apart. And this was one of the first big motion pictures to showcase what it was like just being a teen woman in such depth. Again, while shrouded in comedy and exaggeration, the situations we see played out were things that were all too real for people, hence why the film resonated with so many people. But not only did the film portray the struggles girls face, it also challenged them and envisioned ways to stop it. The film deep dived into the rivalries and showed that most of them stem from personal insecurities and societal pressures to fit in, rather than from actual jealousy. Katie's struggles to fit in sees her end up copying the plastics which end up blurring the line between friendship and competition. And, most importantly, the film showcases how important it is to have empathy and understanding. As seen most in the iconic assembly scene, the film puts other people's vulnerabilities on blast to confront them outright and get to the real thing bothering these young girls, which, in turn, fostered stronger bonds between them, which encouraged the real-life audience to also maybe move beyond the pettiness and superficial judgment that high school was clouded in. It instead encouraged people to discover themselves and be whoever they wanted to be. Through key moments of conflict and resolution and showing empowerment through honesty, Mean Girls really did help and push for a more feminist-friendly future. The impact of Mean Girls continues to be felt today. With the Gen Z movie musical had coming out, showcasing the same lovable characters and a new light for a new generation, it just shows how the message can't be bound by time. It really had a profound impact on 2000s teen culture, shaping things like fashion, social behavior, and the conversation surrounding female friendships. Its social commentary, shadowed by its humorous nature, not only entertained teens, but formed a better understanding of them to the world. As the defining film of its time, Mean Girls will forever continue to influence and inspire, proving that the complexities of adolescence are timeless and universal. Looking back, we really get brought back into an insane world that somehow a lot of people are always nostalgic for. Even though people were meaner, and the food was like way worse for you, and every piece of media was always bordering too creepy or offensive, for some reason we always just get so nostalgic for the 2000s. Just something about it. It was just really iconic. And while I'm sure no one wants to go back to that social situation, I'd love to go back and just get to re-experience all the art and the media. But then I guess, if that stuff didn't happen, then the art and media wouldn't have been portrayed in the way that we saw it. Oh well. I guess it's just one of those bittersweet things, and we can just be happy that today's world is better, and it will continue to get better. And as always, please like and subscribe if you have not already. It really helps the channel, and lets me know what kind of stuff you guys are into. Comment any thoughts you have about this video, or anything really. I mean, I love talking about nerdy stuff. I mean, not like... Not like, uh, I don't know, you know, I nerd out over things. <laughs> and lastly, if you want more nostalgia porn, then check out this playlist, uh, somewhere that'll be popping up right now or any second that has all these look back videos full of millennial and Gen Z nostalgia. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much. Peace.